Hello and welcome. This is a quick tutorial video to show a handy trick for listing set number of leggings to multi-consultant sales that have a restriction on how many pairs of leggings you can post. So the first step in the process is to go to your listings page and to your manual listings. There you will find the um, leggings that you want to list and the way you do that is you open up like say one size leggings here and you show 100 let's say it's um, a multi-consultant sale where you are allowed to list 100 leggings so this is going to show 100 of my one size leggings I'm going to click the first one on the page and this how to use this table um, link will show you this if you're not certain how to do it. But you click the first one and then you scroll to the bottom and you hold down, oh my goodness, there it is. Okay, there's the bottom. Hold down your shift key, click the bottom one, and now you'll have 100 leggings selected, all of the leggings that are displayed on this page. Um, after you've selected 100, go ahead and click edit and we're going to add an attribute to these 100 leggings. The attribute we're going to add is going to be called list. You can call it whatever you want. This makes some sense to me. And this is I want to list 100 leggings. So I'm going to um, go ahead and add that attribute by clicking submit. And now I've updated 100 items with the attribute list 100. So here it is displayed um, over here in my items. So now I will switch over to the mobile um, view and show you how this is helpful. Okay, so I've moved over to my mobile version of Shop the Row and um, I'm going to go through what I, how I would be able to list 100 leggings using my phone to a multi-consultant sale that only allows um, a set number of leggings. In this example, it's 100. So I would tap in the top right corner to my listings. I would go ahead and do it manual, even though there's an option now in Smart Post for this, but this is just faster for the tutorial. We go to One Size Leggings and select All. And what this will show us, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. It will show us that we have all these leggings here, 250 entries. It's just showing 25 of the 250. Then if we go back up to the top and use this search field to search for the attribute we created called list, we add a colon and then put in the value that we um, added 100. Now this actively filtered my entire list of 250 leggings down to just 100 entries. So now this list that I'm looking at is 100. So I can select all and it will only select 100 leggings. And then I can just scroll down to the bottom like normal and post them in whatever um, group I was going to list them in. So I hope that makes sense. And of course, if you have um, any restrictions for 50 pairs of leggings, you can just add another attribute <clears throat> to um, a different 50 pair of leggings, list 50. And uh, if you have, say, 300 pairs of leggings, you could make 100A, 100B, and 100C and be able to list each grouping um, in different sales throughout the week. So hopefully um, that made sense and um, I'm available if you have any questions or comments about this process and I hope that it saves you some time and uh, frustration trying to click all of these little tiny radio buttons on your phone can be pretty aggravating. So, um, so this is hopefully a helpful way to avoid that in the future. Thanks for watching.